Hey everyone, it's me Sherry and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have a Temu haul. And it is pronounced Temu because I noticed that they changed their little ads that come up on YouTube. The shopping like a millionaire thing. It was saying Temu first, but now it's saying Temu. So anyway, whatever. Pronounce it however you want. I'm sorry if my camera looks lopsided. I think the uh, it's on top of like the ottoman in my living room. So... Yeah, I think it's going down this way a bit. I apologize. But anyway, it doesn't matter. You guys are still going to be able to see what I have. So, there's a few things that were purchased for, like, Valentine's Day and stuff and birthdays. That stuff's put away. Um, but I'm going to show you guys Kaylee's birthday gift because Kaylee doesn't watch my channel. So, obviously. So, I got her this little set of dresses for her Barbie dolls. I think there is ten dresses in here, if I'm not mistaken. Let's have a look. This is like two something. She got a Barbie dolls down here that she plays with all the time. I'll get Mike to put them back in the bag after I'm done showing them. Um, they're not like the best quality. They feel kind of starchy, but there's one. It's only doll clothes. It, they don't have to be perfect. There's two. They're all the same dress, just different patterns. Three. She's not going to understand that, though. Four. Just extra doll clothes for her. You might want to stack them all together, Mike, and then put them in. Five. This looks like a little sailor dress. Six. This one has big polka dots and little polka dots. Seven. They do feel kind of starchy, but it's okay. Kaylee's not going to know the difference. This one's cute. So I got her those. Well, we got her those. Then we picked her up this because she's always playing with, like, little toys down here. This was, I thought this was going to be a bit smaller, actually, but it's okay. So it's like a little cat, dog kennel, I guess. Or cat kennel, whatever you want to call it. And I'm not going to open the plastic inside here. If I can get this open, it would be good. Okay, there we go. And inside, it has a little dog bowl. It has, oh my god, that one looks like kind of like Odie, just different colors. And it has like four little dogs in there. Ah, uh, cute. It just has four little dogs, and it has a bowl, and it has a brush, and it has a bone. Just a little play set for her. She likes little stuff like that. She's only three, so I think this was like two or three dollars. It wasn't very expensive. And then last but not least, her mom told us to get her some, like, beach toys. So I picked this up for her. It's kind of small, but you know what? She's only little. She'll still play with it. Um, it comes with, oh, that's in Chinese. Okay, can't read that. I can't remember, but it's like, there's a lot of stuff in here. There's, like, your little shovel and your rake and funnels and different shapes and stuff. So it says happy summer. She can play with this either in the yard or she can play with it at the beach or whatever, right? It, they lose this stuff sometimes, so it's good to have extra. This was like eight something, which I think I could get a set like this at the dollar store for five. But anyway, so that's what we got for Kaylee. Then, well, these might be for Kaylee too, because I'm not sure if they're going to work in my hair. I got two bows, one's in white and one's in pink. I might put these away for Easter for her. Because Kaylee has super long hair. Um, yeah, I'm not going to have enough hair to go in these. So, I'll probably give these to Kaylee. They're so cute. Bows are like a big thing this year. I can try, but I don't know if they're going to work in my hair. So. And then that's the exact same one. It's just in white. I'll give them a try. So Mike's going to put all that stuff back in bags because that's potential gifts. So I'll put that stuff away. Mike, this next pile of stuff that's coming along is not going to go in bags. Back in bags because this is for the house. Alright, so the first thing that I got was this onion saver. So when you, you know how sometimes you, you're you using an onion in a, oh yeah, this is you're using an onion in a recipe and you don't use the whole onion. Well, this you can just put your onion in it and put it in the fridge instead of using Ziploc bags. And I guess it will keep the scent out of the fridge somewhat. And it will save your onion a bit longer. So that's ours. Then I got this 
this is cheesy very cheesy trust me but um it's just a little decoration for your straw for like your stanley cup or whatever cup you're using sounds like I'm, there's usually an easy open but i can't find it not ah, pumpkin moving my <laughs> He's okay now. Hey, Mike, you're going to have to open that. <laughs> and then I got a pack of straws just to have extra backup straws because you never know when you might lose a straw or whatever. So this comes with one, two, and they're glitter straws. Three, four, five. Oh, it might be easier to count it this way. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve straws. So there's white, pink, white, purple, red, and blue, and teal. So, and I'll demonstrate. Here's the little bow straw decoration. So, if I open up one of these straws and just take one out, I'll probably just leave these in the plastic. Okay, so it has your straw on your Stanley or even like your tumblers or whatever. And then this just goes, which I have it upside down. But anyway, you get the you get the gist of it. It just it's just the cheesy decorate your straw. <laughs> Nothing like crazy. It was only like a dollar, so I grabbed it. You didn't grow up yet. No, I didn't grow up yet. I like cheesy girly things. Okay, so the next thing I got is this little scrubby. And this can have like liquid that goes inside of it. And of course it's in like a Tiffany blue color. So you can put your dish soap in here and then you squeeze it down and then you can scrub your brushes with like your pots and pans or whatever. Any kind of messy cleanup you can use that for. That was like a couple of dollars. The next thing I got is one of these silicone strainers that you can put on pots. I don't know if it's a if it will only fit certain of my pots or not, or if it will fit them all. <coughs> but you just clip it on the pot, and then you can strain your stuff out of it without having to use a strainer. It's just made of silicone, so that's that. Okay, the next two things that I have are cleaning tools. This is like a. I want this for dusting under hard to reach places and I think Mike hopefully if it works Mike will like this a lot too because he's always getting down laying down on his stomach on the floor to um it's hard to open he's always getting down on his stomach on the floor to like clean under the couch and stuff because there's pet hair that accumulates everywhere and I'm hoping this is going to make life a lot easier for us so you put it together like this. I'll have to find a place to put it. And this is flexible. And then you have your dust cloths that go with it, which are individually wrapped, which I like that. Okay, he's going to put that on and he's going to give it a try and see how it works. But basically, you put your cloth on this part and you can put it, you're supposed to be able to put it under your fridge, your stove anything so hopefully that works a little bit for us the next cleaning tool i have is this one it's a sponge on a little stick and the reason why i got this is because i'm hoping it's going to make cleaning the bathtub a lot easier because last year one day when i was cleaning the bathtub i slipped and i fell and i bruised my ribs here on the side so Mike, do you know how to get it on? Yeah, I see it on here. Okay, this way. Okay. Ouch, bitch. Hit me. <coughs> Watch his, I'm sorry for his language. If anybody has their kids here, watch them with them. Ow. Okay, I think this just goes on. It just Velcros on. Oh, yeah, it does. It just sticks. <laughs> it just sticks on with velcro so i'm hoping i can wash the tub with this without having to lean 
really far in there. And you can buy extra sponges for this. So that's that. Then I ordered new salt and pepper shakers. And I ordered them in the color Tiffany Blue. Um, so I'm hoping that's what they sent to me. Mike's trying that gadget out over there. And I got this um, under there too. Okay. I know this is gross, but he just pulled that pet hair from under there. Mike, you're supposed to use this side to clean with though. Oh. The flat side. But it doesn't matter. As you can see, it picked up pet fur either way so we can probably get a few uses out of each one of those cloths and then just disregard okay, right he's gonna play with that now okay oh they did send the right color okay good so no here and their glass there's the pepper shaker there. No, because you just cleaned it recently. See? There's my their glass on the bottom. Salt but there's the salt and pepper shakers. They're cute. And then last but not least, I picked up a shopping bag. Because you guys know that we don't have the vehicle anymore. And... I wanted to have something like especially not so much now in the winter but in the spring and the summer if we decide to walk to the grocery store which isn't too far away and we're picking up a few groceries and don't do what I do and we um, decide that we can't carry it all home we need something so this is a bag obviously it's way shorter than I thought it's way smaller than it showed on the video it's supposed to be able to see this is why you can't always rely on everything with Timo it's supposed to fold down into a little oh yeah it does zip down hold on you zip it you have to scrunch it down just give me a minute. You do fold it. You fold it down like that, and there's a zipper in here that you can zip it around with. But it's just not letting me do it right now. And then down at the bottom, it has wheels that come out. So they're on one side, and then the stand on the other. So you can roll it like this when you're going home. But the only thing is, it's kind of short. So I don't know if we're going to be able to reach it from, like, because, well, Mike's a little bit taller than I am. And craftsmanship, they built the zipper the wrong way. Yeah. No, Mike, the, the zipper's totally facing the wrong way. Mike can see if he can get it shut, but that's what it's supposed to look like. It's supposed to zipper shut and then zipper back open and then there's your... But that looks a lot smaller than what it looked on the video, so I will say that. That was like seven something, but I ended up getting a discount on it. So that's everything that I received from Timo this time. Timo, Temo, whatever you want to call it this time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you guys all in the next one. Bye, everyone.